An all-girls school encourages its students to compete for the Shining Star Award, a title given to the most beautiful girl on campus. With Ying's strong desire to win the title, she vows to get it by hook or by crook. One morning, the headmistress makes an announcement regarding the Shining Star Award, promising a special prize to the lucky girl who will win the title. At the same time, the headmistress wants the students to tune in and find out if they have what it takes to be one of their top 10. Meanwhile, a girl stands in front of the school building, getting a small cut on her face from a falling leaf. In this school, attractive students are always put on a pedestal, and the normal students flock to idolize them. Then, a new transfer student interrupts an ongoing class, and she friendly introduces herself as Nano. The teacher then calls the attention of Princess Ten, the class leader, to guide Nano in catching up with school-related matters. After the girl agrees, the teacher instructs Nano to sit beside the class leader named Yang. For Nano, when two girls smile, it means one of two things. First, when a girl genuinely wants friendship, or second, when a girl wants to make friends with an enemy. But in cases where the new girl is prettier, it's always the latter, just like Ying's motive for befriending Nano. After Nano takes her seat, Ying instantly notices the cut on her face. Seeing that Nano is unbothered by it, Ying cautions the new girl that she must take care of how she looks as she can't go around the campus with blemishes. To make Nano understand, Ying brings her in front of the lured Fa Tower, or the so-called Top 10 Tower, later where only the top 10 popular and beautiful girls can enter. To enlighten a confused Nano, Ying explains that their school has a beauty ranking system, favoring its top 10 most beautiful students. They have an app that updates their ranking in real time, so the students can always check their phones to see what number they are. It's a privilege to live in the Lord Fought Tower, and the students make sure the top 10 are happy because they will spread their school's beauty to the world. Ying is lucky and proud to rank 10th, which makes Nano realize why she's being called Princess 10. To humble brag, Ying invites Nano inside the building, confusing the latter as she thought only the top 10 could get inside. Ying explains that the top 10 have the privilege of bringing one guest, so when Nano agrees, she takes Nano around the place. As the announcement of the headmistress plays on TV, Ying stops to watch it. She seems excited about the competition and its prizes while Nano silently observes her. After the announcement, Ying invites Nano to eat in the dining hall, where they get treated like princesses. As they eat, Nano thanks Ying for allowing her to experience her privileges. However, Ying suddenly informs Nano that she may not bring her often to the tower. She tells Nano she has to eat with ordinary people but points out it's not that bad, even saying she sometimes likes to live in the outside world, oblivious that Nano can easily read through her lies. Moments later, Nano pulls out a chocolate bar from her pocket. Then, a shocked Ying, who's conscious of her intake, watches Nano eat it. Despite knowing that chocolate contains trans fat, Ying fails to fight the temptation when Nano offers it to her. But she just takes one bite, reasoning that she doesn't want to be rude. While Ying enjoys her chocolate, Shampu, a stout student, approaches her to greet her. Ying appears to have mastered her fake expressions, as she effortlessly maintains her friendly demeanor while speaking to Shampu. She even uses her sweet voice to reprimand the girl not to roam around the building without one of the top 10 girls. Ying then gives her leftover dessert to Shampu, which the latter happily accepts. When the lady guards harshly grab Shampu away, Ying only watches and she even pretends to be concerned with Shampu while subtly insulting the girl's appearance. But Nano also pretends not to know about Ying's true color, and she even praises her thoughtfulness, saying Ying deserves to be the shining star. Ying is clearly happy to hear Nano's compliment, but she acts modestly again, lying that all she wants is to help others. Upon hearing the bell ring, Ying takes Nano to see the queen or the school's top one beauty, Gade Pinapa. Gade is highly adored by everyone, and even the members of the top 10 look up to her. Ying also watches Gade descend the stairs dreamily, complimenting her beauty, intelligence, and friendliness. Intending to expose Ying's real attitude, Nano feeds her mind with thoughts of being equally beautiful to Gade. This causes Ying to daydream about also descending the stairs, where she is the center of everyone's attention. Still, Ying lies and says she doesn't even know if she could be the shining star, adding that she's never thought of it and that no one can be Gade. Afterward, Ying points out Nano's beauty, and she excitedly tells Nano that they must check her rank through her phone. But after finding out that Nano ranks 11th, Ying's mood turns sour, feeling threatened that Nano just comes one place behind her. While Nano acts to be enthusiastic, Ying tries hard not to look upset and instead tells Nano that she needs to leave. After she exits, Nano smirks, satisfied with Ying's reaction. The next day, Ying wakes up to a notification from her phone saying that her rank has dropped to 11th place. Ying then takes a mirror and checks her face, panicking as she sees a pimple on her nose. So, she decides to pop it, only to make the situation worse. When Ying comes to their classroom, she notices that Nano is surrounded by the girls in their class, congratulating Nano and even suggesting that she may be able to climb the rankings faster than Ying. But upon noticing Ying by the door, everyone turns silent. As Ying takes her seat, Nano innocently greets her as Princess Tan. However, Ying says Nano's in 10th place now. Nano tries comforting Ying that her ranking is only temporary and once her pimples disappears, she'll be in the top 10 again. One of the girls curiously asks how Ying suddenly got a pimple when she's never had one before. Ying then touches her pimple, making another girl stop her from doing so, as it will 
only make it worse. The girl also suspects that her pimple is caused by eating chocolates. Remembering the chocolate bar, Ying slowly turns to Nano, but the latter only smiles. Another girl suggests taking her to a good clinic, to which Ying imagines responding with an insult. But in reality, she remains the goody two-shoes that she is and politely refuses. When the girls leave, Nano tries steering Ying's emotion by innocently pointing out how tight her bow is, making Ying envious that Nano is using the customized bow for the top 10 while she is using the regular one. During lunchtime, Ying confidently walks inside the tower, forgetting she no longer has access to the place. But when she gets stopped by the lady guards, Nano saves her by saying that Ying is her guest. Despite that, the girl resolves to decline and saves herself from embarrassment by saying she misses the food in the school canteen. With no other choice, Ying is forced to experience the lives of ordinary students, eating in the school canteen and even using the filthy restroom. Being used to her lavish lifestyle, Ying strongly dislikes the taste of ordinary food and spits it out, making the other students laugh at her. But her misery continues as she finds a fly in her drink and gets terrified upon seeing a gecko inside the ladies' room. Ying, having a pimple breakout, resolves to sit on the school bench, during which she happily finds an article in a magazine about instant beauty transformation in just 14 days. However, her happiness is short-lived when a girl approaches her to show how she's managed to rank 6. Ying looks at her in shock, but upon remembering her blemished face, she immediately covers it and leaves the girl, who laughs at her misfortune. But even in dreams, Ying is still haunted by how unattractive she's become. She has a nightmare about winning the Shining Star Award, but the headmistress screams as she sees the pimples on Ying's face. Eventually, Ying wakes up screaming too. Then, Ying's morning is unfortunately ruined as she gets a notification that her rank has dropped to 21st place. Determined to remedy her pimple problem, Ying goes to the convenience store to buy some face products. But when Nano shows up and approaches her, she doesn't want to look desperate, so she denies wanting to buy pimple cream. Nano says the store has a lot of good products, urging Ying to buy something so their rankings will improve. She also asks for Ying's advice on what she should buy, but Ying runs to the exit where she bumps into Shampoo. Ying then ignores Shampoo, making Nano approach the girl and whisper something to her that makes both of them smile. After two days of using several face products, Ying's pimples disappear and she is once again in 10th place. Ying happily goes to school, but when she's about to ride the swing in front of the Lord Fa Tower, a student, Niu, tells her to check her message before grabbing her bow and walking away. Then, Ying receives a notification informing her that Niu has recently claimed the 10th spot, while she's dropped down to the 11th position. At the same time, Niu reports Ying to the Lady Guards. Once Lady Guards ask Ying to leave, Nano interrupts, claiming that Ying is with her. Once they are alone, Nano asks Ying to sit on the swing with her, but the girl declines. Instead, she offers to push the swing, scheming to put Nano in trouble. Sure enough, when Nano tells Ying that she can reclaim her spot by making others less pretty, Ying pushes the swing hard. Despite Nano's cries for her to stop, she continues pushing the swing until Nano falls to the ground. Ying pretends to care about Nano for a moment, but when she receives the notification that she's made it back to the top 10, she instantly grabs Nano's bow and leaves her behind. A bruised Nano then opens her eyes, smiling as she successfully reveals Ying's true colors. After that stressful encounter, Ying relaxes inside the tower with a sheet mask on while the other top 10 members enter the room. The girls begin gossiping about the tragedies that usually occur prior to the announcement of the Shining Star Award winner, and they speak ill of Ying, completely unaware that the girl is in the room and has heard everything they said. When the other girls leave, Ying angrily removes her sheet mask and vows to take her revenge. Driven by both rage and greed, Ying creates a ploy to improve her rankings by sabotaging the girl's appearances. She uses a can to scratch one of the girls in the bathroom, puts ants on the other girl's towels, and even renders Niu unconscious with a chemical before cutting her hair and shaving her eyebrows. She also causes a small explosion in the school lab while two students are there, and uses an unknown substance to mess with one girl's drink, causing her to grow facial hair. When the girl's twin teases her, she splashes her drink onto her face and hair grows on her face too. Eventually, Ying climbs to the second spot. Then, while Gade is doing a product review, Ying changes the product to something harmful, causing her face to turn green. Ying is satisfied that everything went according to her plans, but the next morning, she finds their school deserted and in disarray. Upon entering the Lord Fa Tower, she sees Nano inside while the television malfunctions, and the new girl says the beauty ranking system isn't working properly. Confused about what has happened to the place, Ying asks Nano, but the latter only tells her to stop playing dumb since she's the cause of all the trouble. Nano adds that Ying is her role model for all the wannabes out there, and they all try to copy her. Ying then accuses Nano of wanting to steal the crown from her, which only makes Nano laugh at her. The sweet Ying has finally learned to talk back, but Nano points out that, unlike Ying, she is uninterested in winning the Shining Star Award. Then, Gade comes downstairs, and Ying can't believe her eyes that she's become pretty again after wearing makeup. Before Nano goes, she reminds Ying to believe in her beauty as she seems to forget that it is the essence of the Shining Star Award. When Ying and Gade face each other, they start to argue over who deserves the title. Then, to show who will win in the end, Ying starts attacking Gade. The two girls 
fight, and when Gade bites Ying's cheek, she responds by headbutting the girl. As they grow tired, the school's beauty ranking system starts to function again. Ying listens as the headmaster instructs the students to gather in the main hall to witness the announcement of the winner of the Shining Star Award. Ensuring that Gade won't be able to attend, Ying kicks her once more before she runs to the venue. The most anticipated ceremony finally starts, and Ying arrives as the headmaster is about to announce the winner of the Shining Star Award. Ying expects the award to be hers upon seeing that her strongest competitors have turned ugly. But when the winner is revealed to be an unfamiliar girl, everyone gasps in shock except for Nano, who only smiles as if she's expecting that outcome. Then, Yang protests that the girl doesn't even go to their school, desperately insisting that she deserves the award. The headmaster is shocked to see Ying's face, but she proceeds to calmly tell her to also believe in the beauty of her schoolmates. When the winner is finally called to the stage to receive her trophy and deliver her speech, she starts stammering, making the crowd realize that the winner is Sean Pu, the stout girl who's mysteriously turned slim. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.